Hi, Sandra here from Creative in Spain and today I'm going to do a brief tutorial on text and text functions. So I'm going to cover just using the normal text, text path and welding text because those I think are the main points that people have difficulty with. So I've got my text page open by clicking on this big A at the top here. I've selected chunk 5 and I now click on this and it changes and you think why is it doing that why is it doing that okay get your line this vertical one here showing and then choose your text okay so I want chunk 5 and now if I write happy there it is it's on the screen Okay, now it's worth noting that the box around the happy is not your usual selection box, it's the text box. If I want to change this text to something other than chunk 5, what I now have to do is select it by dragging over it and then go to another font. Okay, so I can do that, but I don't want to do that at the moment, I just want to leave it as it is. If I click off of it and click back on, you'll see it gets the normal selection box. But unless you convert it to a path, if you click on it again at some point, you should get the text box back again. And it's only when you have this box around your word that you can apply any of these functions. Okay, so you've got uh, underline, bold and italic. If those are greyed out it's because they're not available for that particular type of text. You've got your justification so you can put left to right or centre or whatever. Horizontal text or vertical text, pretty obvious. The text size, again pretty obvious. The default is 72. Character spacing, you can increase or decrease the space between the letters. It doesn't affect the letters themselves, it merely affects the space between them. There we go. And the line spacing. Well, that's if you had happy and say birthday written below, you could alter the gap between the two. So I'm going to put my character spacing back there. Okay. Now, the next thing to think about is text to path. If I draw a line, there we go, and I decide that I want my text to go on that line, then click on the circle on the left hand side and put it on the line and off you go. There you are. You can add spaces in between characters just by pressing your space bar as per normal and you can delete the space by pressing your delete key. All right, so that's how you would do it and you can also adjust how far or how close I should say the text is to your uh, line by doing that. Okay, if you do that you may need to adjust, obviously you would in this case, you'd need to adjust your letters as well that's how it works or it can go underneath or you can leave it like so. Now assuming that I'm happy with this, what I can do at the moment is use it on anything I want to use it on but the line and the word are connected. If I want to move that word oops, without anything else I just select the word itself, right click, convert it to a path and then they will stay in the same format, they're all moving together but they're completely independent of the line. Okay, now the next thing I want to show you is how to um, Weld. Get the letter right. How 
Look at the word right me. Dear, dear. I had nearly stopped this morning. I really did. I was awake far too early. Okay, so welding. And if I put in happy again with this particular font, I zoom in. We can see that it's almost welded together already, but a lot of fonts won't be. And if I split these up, they're no longer touching them at all. Okay, so they're no longer touching. Now, to weld them, what I'm going to do is to click off of them from that point of view. I don't want them to be in a text box. I want to convert to path. Okay. And doing that, I can move my letters however I want, but they're all grouped together still. And all I have to do is ungroup, and then I can move the individual letters. Now, I choose to do this by using the arrow keys on my keyboard. There is a way by doing shortcut keys where you can speed that process up, but for the life of me, I can't remember which shortcut keys they are at the moment. So I would probably wreck things completely. One tip I would say, if you're concerned about what you might do to your text and thinking you might lose it, when you've got the text as you want it in the first place to start off with, just make a duplicate of it and then it will retain the feature of being a text until you change it to something else. If you change it to a compound path or a path, it will still have its text abilities. Okay, there we are. So happy. Now, if for example I had an I, as you would do in a birthday, if I click on here and do an I in lowercase, all right, what I would do in that case is either make sure I picked up when I was transferring everything, I picked up the dot, or I would use a tool to make a little, little, little joining thing. And I would join the two together. And this I would have to rotate like so. There we are. Okay, now to weld them all together, you select everything, and I'll do the eye as well and you weld. And there you have your word all in one strip. So if you're doing it in vinyl or whatever, that's how you'd want it to be. Or at least you might do. I mean, sometimes you don't want it, but you do sometimes want it to be in all one strip. And that's how you get it to be like that. So it's not very difficult. It's quite easy to do. And there's so much variety in this that you can have a whale of a time. Don't forget, when you're using your uh, text, that you have picture scripts as well. You have all sorts of weird and wonderful designs in scripts. And to use those, because they can be combined into all sorts of things. Um, if I've got, looking very closely, what have I got? Oh, what have I got? Okay, you've got patterns here. So I've got embellishments and just do this. You see, you could combine any of these together to make another pattern. So don't forget about that. Um, quite a useful thing to know about. And uh, have fun with text. It's very, very useful. And um, yeah, you can spend hours messing around with text and doing various things with it, creating all sorts of effects. Don't forget too, you can change the color and the line, the thickness of the line, the style and so on and so forth. Um, one word on that, if you're going to do it while you're in text mode, let me just get a different text, something a bit chunkier, come on, move. Okay, for example, if I wanted to make that into a text with an outer line and a fill, you would select it like so, then go to your fill and select your fill 
and you would go to your line, you'd select your line color, your outer line color, and you could select the thickness. Woo, there we go. Okay, so you can see what you can do there. Um, if you leave it until you make it a path, and you right click and you release compound path, whoops, and then you ungroup, and you can select your individual letters and things from there, bits of letters and so on and so forth. But have a play around and see what you can do and I'm sure you'd be surprised at the variety that you can get with just a few normal type of texts. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.